Well, Italy and the EU are engaged in a fierce battle and now Italian farmers are at the forefront. As the country's right-wing government defends culinary traditions and health, the EU's vice president just faced a rude awakening in the land of pasta and passion. Namaste and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Vedika, let's begin with a video report. As the political rift within the EU widens, a particular dispute between Italy and the EU has gained prominence. Giorgia Meloni, the country's Prime Minister, is working to restore Italy's former greatness and it appears that the prospect of an Ital exit is no longer just a spectre threatening the EU. A new dispute over the rights and dignity of Italian farmers has emerged as a key front in the struggle for dominance. The right-wing government of Italy has bagged legislation that would forbid laboratory produced meat and synthetic meals, defending Italian culinary tradition and putting health protection first. Under the proposed legislation, anyone breaking this ban could face hefty fines of up to 60,000 euros. Francesco Lollobrigida, the head honko of the rebranded Ministry for Agriculture and Food Sovereignty, has been emphasizing the importance of Italy's culinary traditions. This action has been heralded as a victory for farmers' right by the farmers. The EU, which has spent billions on projects promoting lab-grown and plant-based meats, is not at all happy with Italy's choice. The Vice President of the European Commission, Franz Timmermans, travelled to Italy to make a public statement about this issue. But he had no idea that he was about to go through something in Italy that no EU diplomat could ever have imagined. As Timmermans took the stage on May 15, a group of Italian farmers gathered outside the venue shouting, No Europe without agriculture. This unexpected chorus of dissent was a stark reminder that the supporter for Timmermans' Green Deal wasn't as unanimous as Brussels had hoped. Calderetti, one of Italy's leading farmers' association and the organizer of the protest, claimed that hundreds of farmers had rallied against Timmermans, the face of the EU's flagship environmental policy. In a statement, Calderetti explained that the protest was a resounding message against the EU's attack on Italian agricultural heritage. The protesters voiced their concerns not only about contentious issues such as nutritional labelling and lab-grown meat, but also about the much-debated reform of the Industrial Emissions Directive, mockingly renamed the Stable Killer Directive. Their banners proclaimed slogans like Livestock Farming Does Not Pollute, an emissions directive equals close tables, arguing that reducing meat and dairy products in Europe would pave the way for laboratory-made food substitutes. Supporting the protest, the Italian government made it clear that it has a different vision than Timmermans when it comes to environmental protection in agriculture. His vision is ideological, ours is pragmatic, a government spokesperson declared. The MP of Georgia Melanie led government emphasized that Europe is built on a real economy and that formulating environmental policies by damaging industry and agriculture sectors is unthinkable. In the end, Timmermans' speech was heard by none. Undoubtedly, he thought that he could set the tone in its favor, but reality dealt it a devastating blow. The Italian farmers have shown that they won't be swayed by empty rhetoric or imposed regulations. Their fight for the preservation of Italian traditions and the interests of their livelihoods is fierce and unyielding. The EU would do well to pay attention as Italy continues on its journey to restore its former glory. The farmers in Italy have made it very plain that they will not watch helplessly as their way of life is threatened. It's a cautionary tale for anyone underestimating the strength of a unified front and a lesson in resiliency and tenacity. The struggle is far from over in this war of ideology and supremacy. But for the time being, the Italian farmers supported by Melanie have delivered a crushing blow to the EU vice president.